load on on this, Mr. Bogart. Miss Vern, how do you feel about being Humphrey Bogart's leading lady? Well, I feel a little like the princess who's been rescued from the dragon by the white knight. That's you, Mr. Bogart. Anybody that prints that can expect the usual trouble. <laughs> <laughs> What's your next picture going to be like, Mr. Bogart? I'll tell you, boys. I used to be a pretty tough hombre, but no more. In my new picture, I'm really refined, strictly high class. Just take a look and see for yourself. <laughs> but don't get the wrong idea. There's a bunch of dangerous guys trying to muscle in on Uncle Sam. And me and the boys are doing something about it, because these monkeys don't play for a laugh and a little fun. They're strictly out for blood. <laughs> a pleasant evening. Right now, I could be dealing myself a straight flush. I can only figure out what Joe meant when he held up his hand. I know he must have been trying to tell me something, to show me something. You are the noisiest guy. Listen, Weasel, back to your piano. Please, Mr. Donahue. Yeah, well, I don't like the way he's pushing you around. It isn't important. Please don't interfere. Come on. Let her alone. Take your hands off me. Get him up. You realize you will never get out of here. There'll be infants discarded. Where do you think you're going, baby? Gloves, please let me go. Listen, sister, I don't know what you're up to, but out there the cops are waiting for me with a one-way ticket to the hot seat. You know who killed Joe Dunning, and you know who killed Miller, and you know what's going on around here. You're Exhibit A, and you're coming with me. Oh. 